Finally, the day that I've dreamed about since I was 16, telling my dad that you were the girl that I could see myself marrying. Everything about you drew me in, your unapologetic love and passion for the Lord, your desire to show people they are seen and known, your contagious laughter, especially the silent kind, and the beauty that radiates from your smile and your voice all captured my heart and showed me a glimpse of the girl I knew I had to spend the rest of my life with. As you bear the image of Christ through representing his church, so am I called to bear the image of Christ representing him to you. In every new season we go through together, I promise to love you as an imitator of the unconditional and sacrificial love of Jesus. I promise to lead you and our marriage in humility, gentleness, and courage, moving us toward partnering with God in his calling on our lives and our marriage. You are my sunshine, my greatest joy, and my beautiful bride, and I cannot wait to love and learn you for the rest of my life. I love you. Brayden, the day that I met you on January 22nd, 2018, my spirit bore witness with yours even though we had barely spoken. I knew that in my soul, you were someone who wanted his heart to be formed for love of God and others above all else. Brayden, with you, I have been blessed beyond measure. You have shown me daily through word and deed what it looks like to imitate the active, pursuing love of Jesus. I am confident that the love and grace of God will be the aroma of our home, our family, and our lives, because we cannot help but to exude His love when we are living in light of it daily. I believe we have been called together to display the true character of Jesus to a broken world that does not know him. And how thankful I am that my partner in that mission is you. I love you. Just you and I, leave the world behind. I think it's time that we take flight. Just you and I love those. Look, I did pretty good. I know, you did good. All right. Okay. You look beautiful. That is so pretty. Take me away. To you be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever be glorified as a result of this day, we give you praise, Lord, in the strong name of Jesus. You are the sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way. This is where I call home. Love never gives up. It never loses faith. It always is hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Three things that will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of which is love. Your love is like no other. Your love is where I feel alive. Braden, because the gospel tells us of a Christ who loves his bride by laying down his life for her, so you must love Emma in the same way. And Emma, because the gospel tells us of a church who follows and honors Christ, so you must follow and honor Braden as your husband. There is joy in the sweet companionship between a godly husband and wife lived out in everyday life. There is joy in knowing and being known by another completely without fear. There is joy when you look back and realize that God has used your marriage to kill some of the selfishness within you and make you look more like Christ. Scripture calls it a profound mystery. I call it gospel love. It is my distinct privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. Brayden, 
you may kiss your bride.